For almost 40 years, blue-green algae has bloomed in certain coastal areas, polluting beaches and infuriating local residents and conservation groups. The foul-smelling organism thrives along shorelines during hot periods, possibly linked to high levels of nitrates in surrounding soil. Green tides can develop when a type of algae called ulva, also known as sea lettuce, spreads rapidly. It's due to a phenomenon known as eutrophication, an excess of nutrients in water triggering the overproduction of aquatic plant life. Temperature and light are both factors which can stimulate growth of this algae. Environmentalists blame intensive farming. In summer, seawater which is weaker in nutrients should stop blue-green algae from multiplying. But when an influx of chemical nutrients found in fertilizers, like nitrogen and phosphorus, are discharged into the sea and rivers, this effect is reversed. Green tides are most frequently found along coastlines near estuaries. They're often seen on the ground of shallow sandy beaches spread out over a wide area where the water is warmed and light penetrates easily. This light encourages the process of eutrophication. Sea lettuce can grow in up to 15 metres of water. Despite the magnitude of tidal movement, it takes time to renew water in these vast bays, so diluting these nutrients is a slow process enabling algae to multiply and dry out along the shore. Blue-green algae is harmless when fresh, but as it begins to decompose, it gives off large quantities of hydrogen sulphide. This potentially deadly toxic gas poses a significant health risk to locals, visitors and workers trying to remove it. The only solution? To reduce chemical fertilizers produced by agriculture.